All right, I'm going to skip recalls because they bore me. We have, my team manages recalls, expirations, and defects. It's, it's, a, it, it's what I, when I hired a trade, when I interviewed a trade, I said, we're hiring a job. This job is called, I need somebody to manage supply-related bad shit. Supply, recalls, expressions, and defects. Bad stuff, I should say. That's what it is. It's ugly. It's, but that's our world. So anybody ever brings up anything to you about recalls, defects, expirations, it's my department. We'll take care of it. Now we work with people like materials management for Defect Depot, which I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I want to change that so bad. I'm going to leave it alone. But that's how many recalls we get. We get roughly 250 recalls a month. That's a lot of work. I have a new person named Shantiana who started in March. She's taking over recalls and expirations and defects, and she's got recalls now. I can't describe to you how scary this is. I'm going to try. At VCU in Richmond, I was the recall person because nobody else would do it. I didn't want to do it. The FDA is located up the street from our hospital. The FDA would come physically to our hospital once a quarter, and they would say, you got a recall on that three months ago. Show me what you did. And I was freaky, because they're the FDA. You don't mess with them. They can shut your hospital down tomorrow. My boss was freaky. His boss, a VP, was freaky. I mean, they're nice people. They're just doing their job, but they came to see us all the time because they were close. It's, it's like Joint Commission comes. It's like CMS comes. Everybody stops and goes, oh, my God, oh, my God, hopefully let's not screw anything up. Don't put your co coffee cup on the counter. Wipe that off. I mean, it, it just, so the FDA called us Wednesday and said, you got a recall on that in March. I want to know what you did with it. Shantiana said, here's what we got, here's what we did, here's what we found, here's the next step. Any questions? FDA is like, y'all are on top of this, great job. This is scary, but we do this pretty well. It used to be sloppy. It's pretty good now. We, we, we're going to get better because we ain't perfect, but it's better. And I'll, I'll throw a clinical thing at you. There's a reason we changed. There's a reason we hired a trade three years ago now. Before we hired her, the FDA came out with a recall on an implant in the OR. And so that went to the OR person. They went and looked at the shelf and said, now nah, we don't have any of those. We had two. So either they didn't see them or they didn't go look. And we implanted one of those recalled devices in a child. Pardon my language, but holy f that's on us. We should get sued. If something happens to that kid, it is our fault. And so Calvin, at the time, who kept calling me his supply chain safety guy, which I hated, came to me and said, fix that. <laughs> Don't. Fix that. I don't care if it's the OR's fault. Don't let that happen again. I said, I need to hire somebody. He said, okay. That's where we got this job from. So we do that. I am confident. If y'all know Lauren Smoke in the OR, she ain't gonna let that happen. <laughs> she will not. No. I am confident we would not do that today. I'm confident if we sent Lauren a thing that said, these are recalled in your area, she would scour that place. She would not just look at the shelf where it's supposed to be, she'd look everywhere. So we did not put that in, recalled thing in a patient's body. That's what you want. We're the best on the planet at what we do. People like that are why. It's not do your job okay, do your job the best you can do. And if you need help, get help. That's that, okay. That's what we want. 
I know I'm preaching. 